How's it going lockfuckers? Thanks for joining me in Matt's Lockpit for another lockpicking video. So on the cards today, we've got this little TSS 3 lever lock. Quite a funky little lock. I actually got this from a lockout job this morning. Let me paint a little picture for you guys. I'm lying in bed, 6.45am. Kids aren't awake yet, so I'm thinking everything's all fine and dandy. The motherfucking phone rings. Answer the phone, all I'm told is basically that it's a mortise lock and the fuckers are locked out. So. Instantly, what I'm thinking is, fuck my life, it's going to be a British Standard 5 lever mortise lock. Which, um, I don't know whether any of you will have ever experienced this, but there's no quicker way than getting rid of your morning glory than to face the fact that you're going to have to go out and pick a hard motherfucking lock without even having your morning coffee. So you can imagine, my morning glory came back pretty fucking fast and I was over the moon when I turned up and it actually turned out to be this little TSS 3 lever. So the reason they was locked out is I'll show you. We have the key here, locks completely fine, but then when we go to unlock it, the motherfucker won't unlock. Funny enough, it does actually work from the other side, there we go. So anyways, ooh, stopped working from this side now, there we go, she's working. So, we'll lock this back up, we'll get this in the vise, we'll get it picked, and of course we'll dismantle it and see what's inside. So there she is. I'm going to be picking this lock with my 2-in-1 pick from RB Medical Group. Awesome stuff. So first things first, we need to get the first tip in. Get it in there and apply some tension to the bolt itself. So there we go. As you can see, the bolt's being tensioned. So now we need to get our other part of the pick in. Slide it forward. Now we're getting it through the keyway. And now we'll work our way through the levers, giving them a little tap. Straight away, I've had a little nudge off three. Too springy, nothing on one there, two, right. so, and just up the tension, there we go, two, there we go, we got two set, and should just be one left now, there we go, open off one, so it's as simple as that, so let's get this little fucker gutted and see what's inside. And there she is. So we'll get the camera down for you. Awesome stuff. So first off, we've got three screws to take the faceplate off. One screw out, which just fell inside. Awesome stuff. There's our second screw, which I'll plonk down there. There's our third screw, and now we should be able to take the faceplate off. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. I'll give you a close-up look at that. So it looks like we've got a spacer to start with, so I'll get him out. There we go. So first up, we've got a spacer. I'll plonk him down there. Second lever. Well, first lever. And looks like we've got another spacer. Second lever. And another spacer. And our third and final lever. Number four cut. Cool. So let's have a look in here. So for those of you that don't know the mechanics of the lever locks very well, where we're tensioning is literally up. Bit awkward with one hand. But as you can see, it sits there. So when we apply tension, lovely stuff. So anyways, let's have a quick close-up look at these levers. Nothing too snazzy. But there we go, guys. That was the TSS 3 lever lock. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.